y'all, this is Lauren from One Nana Two Girls and we're going to bring a nice quick tutorial for you today. We're using the Chronic Custom Quarter available in our shop and we are also using some DMC floss and this one is one of the um, color variations group and it's 4237 and the beautiful blue colors there and we're showing you how to make cording. So I brought along this ornament today just to show you. We are going to be making the cording for you, showing you how to use the tool. And we hope you enjoy this tutorial. So first things first, you want to go ahead and unpack your quarter out of the box and save your box to store it in. And you'll get your quarter like this with the hook on the end. And it reminds me of a fishing reel. And then you'll get the um, little booklet that comes with it. And it has just some cording tips inside and how much thread do you need? Just some basic steps from the Krynik company. And you can also um, watch um, some instruction videos on their website as well, but we're going to be showing you the way that we do it here at One Nana Two Girls. And um, this is just the back of the packaging, so let's get started. The first thing you'll do is find the end of your floss. And for DMC, even if it's the regular DMC floss and you have the small label at the top and the larger label at the bottom, you want to pull your floss from the bottom, closest to the larger label. So that way it comes out nice and smooth. That's the way that works best for us. And I do believe that that's the way DMC recommends that you take the floss out of the packaging. So you'll go ahead and unpackage your entire skein of floss to start. After you've undone your floss pack, you want to divide your floss. Now we're just working with one skein today. So you want to divide your floss by folding it in half and then folding it in thirds. You want to have six strands on each or the whole way down the length of your floss. So you wanna have six pieces of floss here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Then you're going to tie a knot in one end. And I put it pretty close to the end. And you do have some loops here. And that is actually what we're going to loop onto the quarter. So again, you want your six strands and then you want to tie an end into a knot and then go ahead and take your loops over the hook on the tool. And again, this is done with the six strands of floss, just so you can see how large. You can do less and we've done more as well. So it's up to you for your project. Hey y'all, this is Lauren back again from One Nana Two Girls and this is my assistant Karina. She's my sister. <laughs> and we're going to show you the process for using the Chronic Custom Quarter to make the custom cording for your project. So as I said, you had the knotted end on one side and you're going to slip that over the hook again we're taking the loops and just slipping it over the hook and then she has the other end and it's just regular for right now and so she's going to hold tight and i'm going to hold tight on this side and i'm going to start winding counter i'm sorry i'm starting winding clockwise that's clockwise, not counterclockwise. So we're gonna wind clockwise and the floss is going to get really tight and we're 
just winding and winding and winding and winding some more. This is really good practice if you're a fisherman or a fisherwoman, or if you want to be. <laughs> Our pap used to take us fishing all the time, so we're pretty well versed with fishing poles. So once you've wound so far, you wanna take a look at your floss and we'll get this a little closer for you. Back up, Karina, it's buckling. So here you go, wound really tight. And um, as you saw, if you have it and you let it go toward each other and it buckles, then you wanna go ahead and back up by going counterclockwise. So just back it up a little bit until those kinks have worked their way out and you wanna keep it really taut. So the person on the other end will keep it really taut for you. And if you don't have another person, you can um, use a hook that you can screw into a piece of board or into um, a stud in your wall, etc. So now once we have it like this, and it's very tightly wound, you're going to actually remove the tool from this end and you're going to slide it down your floss to the middle and Karina will take the two ends at the top and I'm hanging on to the bottom and she will tie that into a knot up there. And it takes just a minute to get that tied real tight into a knot. All the while, I'm still hanging on to this side. Back up just a little bit, okay. And I'm going, then you're going to take it vertical and the person who's hanging on to the ends up here is gonna um, keep a tight, tight hold on that and then I'm gonna let go and magic happens, pixie dust, pixie dust, and the quarter will actually wind and then you wanna stop it as soon as it stops spinning. And then make sure that you have it in the same hand and that you're winding with the same hand you did in the first place because now we're going to counterclockwise, which is making the cording even tighter. So you wanna go counterclockwise. And then, can you hear that noise? Once the quarter starts to make that clicking sound, you're done, almost. So you're done with this part. And you remove the cording from the hook, and then more magic happens. Pixie dust, pixie dust. And then I'm gonna let go of the cording and smooth it out. And then you have your beautiful blue cording or whatever color floss you're using. And you have your beautiful cording all ready and set for your project. Now, if you like making the cording, you can go ahead and make up cording in advance and you can store it in small Ziploc bags. That's what we do, especially for our Prairie Schooler Santas because we make them and finish so many of them, we wanna have our cording ready. So when we're finishing, everything's all set for us to finish our project completely. And it's so much fun to see what the cording turns out like, especially with these variegated flosses and then the single color flosses also. And for the, let me grab one of these, for the Prairie Schooler Santa Pillow ornaments, we actually use the three colors and make the cording and wind it together. So it's really an adventure when you get to see the finished product um, from picking your colors and making your cording out of it. So we hope you enjoyed our tutorial. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let us know and stay tuned for our next tutorial um, that we're gonna be doing is a, is a flat fold. And then we'll be doing another tutorial called a mounted flat fold stand up. So. The next one will be a flat fold stand up and then a mounted flat fold stand up. And this cording looks so beautiful on the mounted flat fold stand up. You'll be amazed. So please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications of our future videos. And we can't thank you all for your support and we hope you really enjoy making your own custom cording for your project. Bye.